tonight. Join Justine Smith, Reese Matthewson, James Nokise, Melanie Bracewell, and Vaughn Smith as we look back on the week and ask, have you been paying attention? And now, here's your host, Hayley Sproul. Welcome to Have You Been Paying Attention and Manui Alevayaso Ole Nganana Samoa. Happy Samoan Language Week. Now, this is, of course, the show where we challenge news watching comedians to a quiz on the week's events. And tonight, they'll be playing for the chance to be injected with COVID 19 on live TV. <laughs> you try. <laughs> Later on, we'll be joined by our guest quiz masters, star of Young Rock, Fussy Tua Amosa. <laughs> Later by rugby seven star Michaela Blythe. Let us meet our contestants. Fresh from a negative COVID test, back from Melbourne, Melanie Bracewell. Seven Sharks newest reporter, Reese Matthewson. He's a winner of the Fred Award, James Nikise. She's the biggest Disney fan I know, Justine Smith. The myth, the breakfast host, Vaughn Smith. <laughs> no, my hooky, my aunt. Hello, for love, everyone. Great to have you all here. Mel, welcome back. Oh, it's good to be here, Hayley. It's good to be here. You've been in Australia for a long time. Yeah, man. Didn't wash my hands once over <laughs> there as well. Not so. a single time. <laughs> Of course, you've been doing a lot of gigs. You did the Melbourne Comedy Fest. I How did. did it go? It was awesome. Great sellout run. It was awesome. And then there was a sort of like end of festival awards thing, which I was like, I won't bother going to that. I'm going to play netball instead. Keep it humble. Keep it humble. And I got a call from my manager going, you've got to come to the, this award ceremony. So I, I made it there and I won an award. Yes, you did. Uh, <laughs> Choice. I won Director's Choice Award and, yep, slept my way to the top. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but like you say, uh, you had, of course, been playing netball, so you uh, turned up to receive your award like this. Yep. Uh, uh, I had the opportunity to do this sort of speech and I kind of did it more like a post-match. Uh, <laughs> so like, oh, you know, it was a festival of two halves, right? <laughs> Left it all out there on the stage and got the result we needed at the end of the day. Wow, uh, congrats. <laughs> Congrats, a huge award, uh, well deserved. Uh, Talofa James, great to have you on the show. Uh, Talofa, that's actually the uh, casual way to greet people. The formal way is my husband is Samoa, Talofa. Oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> I'm learning, I'm learning here. Uh, it is, of course, uh, Samoan Language Week, and you yourself are Samoan, but I do have to ask. Yes. The accent, James. Yes. Uh, uh, something's happening in the. Um, it's, from, uh, it's from Wellington. It's a Wellington sound. <laughs> No, it's um, my mum's Welsh, so I've grown up with um, a Welsh mother and a Samoan father and the Kiwi twang. So what a lot of Kiwis don't realise is when I speak Samoan, it's got an accent. Yeah. And it sounds kind of French. Yeah, it, it's got a real... Yeah, it's got yeah, a... Like, if I was like, oh, talofa lava, then the Samoans in the audience would, like... To them, I'd sound like I was going, oi, talofa lava, like... <laughs> I, I sound fresh to Samoan. Yeah, I mean, you, you sound better than I do. I, I, Your Samoan was great. It's tough. It's a tough language. Yeah, but you're not saying Samoan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, am I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, great to have you all on the show. It's time to dive into some news. Hands on those buzzers, please. Here we go. Jacinda Ardern has been following trends. I hear it's causing some amusement online, though. What is causing amusement online, Vaughan? Neve spotted a goat out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that video was Neve. No. Mel? National's polling results. Burn <laughs> 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 there, I'll take that. Uh, not the answer for me, though. What's causing amusement online, Vaughn? There was some Australian 60 Minutes story that was like this hyped up, crazy story about New Zealand siding with China. And... Yeah, sensationalistic, I've got written on my card. Uh, 60 Minutes ad about our relationship with China. Take a look at this. Could it be that New Zealand is turning into New Zealand? I reject that. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> New Zealand. It's very silly. Tough advice for some Kiwis. The message is hunker down and obey the rules. Hunker down, obey the rules. Who's that message for, Juzzy? Is it what to do if you find yourself in Mike McRoberts' basement? <laughs> <laughs> Happy 
happy yeah. to obey. Uh, <laughs> not talking about Mike McRoberts' basement. Uh, Reese. Is it uh, if someone stands on a fire hydrant, they get a free hit? <laughs> <laughs> not the rules he's referring to, but you're not wrong there, Reese. Mel? It's, it'll be people stuck in Melbourne. Yeah, New Zealanders stuck in Victoria during their lockdown. Obey the rules. These Wellington residents are uncertain. No idea. No idea. It's, it, we'd like to know. Uh, you know, when it's likely to happen. Let us know, get, get your act together. What don't they know, Reese? How to get the TV to HDMI 2. <laughs> <laughs> Undoubtedly. <laughs> You're probably right there, Reese. I can't pay the points on that, Vaughan. Now, when they're going to get their jabs? They don't know when it's going to happen after a delay for Group 4 uh, meant that we won't be getting them until late July, and Chris Hipkins, he managed to clear things up. Well, July is July. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. This Christchurch man was busy. Sort of improvising. I haven't really had to deal with this before, so chopping up a yoga mat. What is he trying to do, Jazzy? Is it he's making some new vegan patties? <laughs> <laughs> Not why he's chopping up a yoga mat there, Vaughan. Preparing for floodwaters. Yes, I know. He's trying to protect his business from Canterbury's <laughs> one in a hundred year flooding event. <laughs> Judith Collins was in a critical mood. This is the sort of nonsense that I think that most New Zealanders are going to say, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? James. Would it be white privilege? Yeah, and what in particular for the points? Uh, as it's... Oh, no, I have heard this. I was just making a joke. But it's white privilege <laughs> being taught in, like, schools and yeah. government departments. She has claimed that white privilege is being taught in government departments and schools. What do you mean teaching it? I don't know. <laughs> well, at least her privilege gets taught. You never see brown privilege no, getting taught don't. in schools, no, do you? No, you don't. Well, this was a big surprise for David Seymour. Uh, look, I, no one's ever called me that before, so I've never thought about the answer. <laughs> what was he called? Bonnie. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, you are not that far away, Mel. Babe? <laughs> no, no, babe, Reese. Is it Jive Ass Honky? <laughs> Things, but it's not what he's talking about. What has he not been called before, Vaughan? It's preferred prime minister. I'll pay that. Yeah, likable is oh. what he has not been called before. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he was asked. Uh, oh. Because he has indeed risen in the preferred prime minister poll. And who voted for him? No oh. idea. No idea. <laughs> This gave us all a thrill. So grab a cuppa and hang out till 11.11pm 11, 11 when the magic will happen. What magic is she talking about? Juzzy? 11.11pm 11, 11 is way too late for any kind of magic at my house. So, um... <laughs> um what could she be referring to? Is it to about then? the blood moon that happened, the I'll, eclipse? I'll give you that. A super blood moon was able to be Ooh, seen last week cool. thanks to clear skies all over the country. And the reviews are in. So I expected, as others have said, it maybe would have been a bit more red. <laughs> we just told Poppy the moon. We did! <laughs> <laughs> this McKinsey country local was excited. Everything's white. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, good to look at. All right, what's he talking about, James? <laughs> the South Island. <laughs> <laughs> Way, Reese. The Friends Reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Not the answer I want. Born? That. Hower Frost. I believe it's genuinely pronounced Hoarfrost. Mm, didn't feel comfortable saying on yeah. television. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that bitch is cold. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, there is a uh, there's, there's, there's an early hoarfrost, and <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. There's so a beautiful hoarfrost. So we can just say that. We can just say that, mate. So I can say I'm a filthy hoarfrost. You can say you're dressed like a hoarfrost. <laughs> <laughs> it's time now for a break, but we'll be right back with our guest quiz master, Fussy to Amosa Akuakine. <laughs> I think we're both pretty comfortable doing a streak or a nerdy run. Yes, sexy beast. Stephen's been on his knees talking to dogs. He's a bit different, this fella. I was mine with it. Sounds quite trendy. Nah. Who's idiot? You know, if you've got a floppy base. Give yourself more pleasure. I'm selling gluten-free, soy-free, guilt-free. Discharge spread. I want it in my tummy. <laughs> Have you been 
paying attention. Now, kia ora, Reese up the back. Hi. You're looking very nice. Thank you. I absolutely I've, love this on you. I really tried hard. You have, and, and it's paid off. Uh, but speaking of wardrobe, you've had a bit of a, a wardrobe malfunction in the past, haven't you? Yeah, so I, I was doing a comedy play, mm. and on stage I managed to tear my hamstring from top to bottom uh, while wearing a pink lycra halter neck jumpsuit made for a 14-year-old boy. <laughs> now, when you say that, Reese, are there pink... Halter neck jumpsuits out there made for fourteen-year-old boys? No, I got I got this custom made. I, I was a dancer as a kid. My body grew, and I thought that'll be funny to wear, and it, <laughs> and it was, and you could see everything. Um, <laughs> but so I I thought I could still do the splits. I could do the splits when I was a kid, oh. and the splits is not like riding a bike. <laughs> No. You can't just do it forever once you know how to do it. No. And then my hamstring went pating. So you went for a split and your hamstring went, bye. Exactly. Oh, now, <laughs> do we have a photo of this incredible jumpsuit? No, we do have a photo of the leg, though. There it oh. is there. Oh. Jesus. Oh, my God. God, that's gross. How long did that take to heal? If you do the physio, about six weeks. Um, but I never did the physio and it's still pretty wonky. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on with the show. It is time for the big premiere. Get ready to be ambushed by paparazzi. It's showbiz. <laughs> There's rumours Lord has new music on the way after she did what? Reese. Went into overdraft. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if she did that. Vaughan. She heard the secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. <laughs> Oh, you're all very silly, aren't you? It's not the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Mel. Look, I'm the only one taking this seriously. Thank you, Mel. Uh, she is doing a concert. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, if only you had have seen it with a bit more energy, it would have been easier to give you these ten points. Uh, Vaughan? She's been put as the headliner on a, on a Spanish music festival in 2022. I'm going to no, pay it to Vaughan, because he put more effort into oh. it. Uh, yeah, she is playing the 2022 Primavera Festival in Barcelona. There was a big revelation about a behind-the-scenes romance during the Friends reunion. What was it? Mel. Was it all of them in Botox? <laughs> 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 it was a little tight on the couch. It was a little bit tight. Reese. Was it Matthew Perry and cocaine? <laughs> Shockingly, they didn't touch on that topic there, Reese. Justine? Um, was it Ross and Rachel, their on-screen relationship? Actually, on-screen, they're a little bit... <laughs> yeah. But they didn't actually... I have never made that noise before in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a donkey! You've so never made that like noise a... before? Mm -hmm. I've never done that before. Ooh. But, um... Oh, husband's not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on? Yes, you're right, Justin. Yeah, and off stage they had a wee thing going. Yeah, jo uh, Jennifer Aniston and David Schwimmer both had crushes on each other, but they never acted on it. Mm. You're like, never did that sound out of my head, am I? <laughs> 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 Suzanne Paul made a surprise appearance this week. Where? Mel. Preferred Prime Minister Paul. <laughs> 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 never say never. Uh, not where she was, though. Mel. No, it was RuPaul's Drag Race. It down. was, indeed. And, of course, she made some new friends. Oh. Then, have you ever sold men's underwear before? No, I oh. haven't. No, oh. I'd like to get into men's underwear. Yeah, girlfriend. <laughs> you talking? Oh, it is time to bring out our guest quiz master. He's a superstar of New Zealand television who's been making it big overseas. Please welcome Fussy Tua Amosa. <laughs> Thank you. Great to have you. Great to be here. Now, look, you have been all over our screens for years now. Vermillion, The Legend of Baron Tor, Baby Done, Fresh Eggs, Golden Boy. Who could forget? <laughs> but most recently, uh, you played The Rock's actual uncle on Young Rock. Um, let's yep. have a look at you as uh, this character. Amazing. You got to do some proper wrestling as well, eh? We did get to do some proper wrestling, uh, and our wrestling coach was Chavo Guerrero, who came down oh. to... Um, to uh, so suss all that stuff. So glad that landed with you, Reese, because I was like, how do I pretend? I'm like, yeah, Reese. <laughs> that's, a, that's a huge deal. Big wrestling fan. Guerrero really? is, he's, I'm, I'm so jealous. Were you any good at it? Um, he was really good at going, what are you good at? <laughs> and then we'll just lean into that. Right. Yeah. Reese. Do you want to wrestle me right now? <laughs> <laughs> 
Chris, well, are you a wrestler or just a fan of wrestling? Just a fan, but I feel like I could wing it. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> you, quick, quick you, pulled, you pulled a hamstring in a play. <laughs> Uh, James. If I see if I can uh, speak to you in our parents' language. Um, how's your dad? <laughs> <laughs> He's good and mum's well, thank you. <laughs> did you, uh, did you meet The Rock? <laughs> did I meet The Rock? Yes, I was on Zoom uh, with, um, when we were doing a couple of script reads, table reads. Did you get a photo on the Zoom of you guys in the same um, screen? Cannot confirm or deny, but I will say that if you are going to do it, make sure you turn the volume down on the screenshot. Oh, <laughs> no, Fuzzy! <laughs> Who was that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, it is, of course, uh, Samoan Language Week. Uh, how do you get amongst it? How can people enjoy the week? Um, you can say ta'alofa to everyone that you meet. Don't have to be married to them to... <laughs> <laughs> but only for this week. <laughs> <laughs> but after that, you need to be married. Um, <laughs> Um, this one's a good one for if you have like young children or pets or uh, just anyone you same, just want same. to, yeah, or anyone you just want to just tell them to stop doing what they're doing. Uh, and the phrase is shh, awa. Awa. <laughs> <laughs> so the awa is the act is the word. Awa means don't, and shh is just how Samoans get your attention. <laughs> so, shh, Awa. Oh. Oh, wow. OK, I like that one. I'm going to be using that a lot. I have uh, no pets, no children, but I have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, Fassi, great to have you on the show. Are you ready to ask our contestants our movie questions? Yes, here we go. Take it away. Um, fans of thrillers are excited about this. How can you lose? Mmm, spooky. <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking at there? What are we looking at, Mel? That was me and Hayley before the show. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifyingly accurate. Not the answer, though. James? Um, I, I, I think it's a, it's a new film called uh, A Night in Soho. So well, that is correct. That is the trailer for Edgar Wright's new film, Last Night in Soho, starring Kiwi... Thompson McKenzie. She's doing so well. She's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't even go to drama school. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying. <laughs> right? This clip got Kiwis excited. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> What's going on here? Justine. Has someone just farted in the car? Because <laughs> <laughs> there was a weird noise and some suspicious looks. Yeah, there were. Uh, not quite the info we need, James. I feel like that's like the darkest beginning to a Briscoe's ad. I've ever <laughs> <seen>. <laughs> Briscoe's lady full sprint behind me. <laughs> <laughs> I told you there was a sale on. <laughs> That's the trailer for the new uh, Kiwi horror film, Coming Home in the Dark. That is correct, and it's coming out in August. Very exciting. OK, wrestler John Cena issued this video after promoting Fast and Furious 9 in China. <laughs> what is he apologising for? James. No, I see the issue. It's Samoan language. <laughs> <laughs> He is not speaking Samoan, uh, Reese. He accidentally challenged Xi Jinping to a Hell in a Cell match at SummerSlam, <laughs> brother! <laughs> All right, don't, don't sh shred your jersey there. Uh, <laughs> Justine. Didn't he make a mistake when he's talking called Taiwan a country? Mm. That it's... is correct, yes. He's apologising for saying Taiwan is a country. Mm. Oh. As we all know, it's... Uh... Of course, it's a... Yeah, don't get in trouble. <laughs> he has been learning Mandarin for roughly a decade. Yeah. Oh, not bad. Well, Fussy, thank you so much for joining us. It's great to have you on the show. Omoise pati pati tale mo fussy to a
your neck pillow out of the closet. Let's take a trip around the world. Here's an interesting sight in Belgium. Bless this What's going on there, Jazzy? I don't know, but is that my husband's technique when I ask him to dust the lounge? <laughs> Uh, Vaughan. It's the, the priests of Belgium have returned to making a, a beer, kind yeah. of fashioning it off the old monks. Yeah, first time in more than two centuries that the Belgium's Grimbergen Abbey have begun brewing again. Joe Biden and Vladimir Putin have agreed to a one-on-one -on -one meeting this month. Where will they meet? Juzzy. The Henderson Coffee Club? <laughs> Not where they're going. Uh, Vaughan? I hear they're putting them up in a very nice yes. Jotel. <laughs> Biding your time, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Reese. Home of chocolate and Nazi gold, Switzerland, Haley. Neither Switzerland. I'll pay you those points. <laughs> there was a big mess in Brussels. <laughs> what has happened there, Mel? Is it the the Holt forgot to do his kegels? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think this is a Greenpeace protest, is it? It is. It and they is. splashed green coloured water. Greenpeace uh, oh, poured green it? water outside the EU Parliament in a protest against agricultural policy. A Londoner found something unexpected in their washing machine this week. What was it? Juzzy. Prince Philip? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Reese. Prince Andrew. No! <laughs> Not a royal, Vaughan. It was a fox, right? It was a little fox. It oh. got stuck in a woman's washing machine. Oh. There you go. Heading to Moscow, and here's something we haven't seen before. What is that? Vaughan. It's like an automatic, they're calling it the future of taxis, right? They are. It's automatic, but it's not hovering, so let's not go crazy with future. Yeah, I know, it is, it's, it's a, um, <laughs> Russia's Spurbank has unveiled a driverless vehicle called Flip, called the Taxi what of the Future. What are they called, the Spurbank? Spurbank. Spurbank. <laughs> no. So you jump in and have a wank and it drops you no, off. <laughs> that's what got my Uber account cancelled. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> oh, dear. A video out of Brazil has gone viral after it showed two bees doing what? This is amazing. Mel. Two birds? <laughs> <laughs> no. Reese. They opened a bottle. Yes. What? They opened, what? they unscrewed the lid of a Fanta bottle. Take a look. So there's the bees there on each side. Oh my Working God. together. Oh. Wait for it, That's wait for good. it. That's not good. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. What's even more incredible is just before that they did the same thing to a Pepsi bottle and went, ooh, Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. A New York woman caused a stir online by posting pictures of her feet after doing what for 16 hours? <laughs> <laughs> Easy with these, Mel. <laughs> posting pictures of her hands. <laughs> <laughs> I want here. Vaughan. Didn't she fall asleep in a bath? Yeah, she took a bath, fell asleep. 16 hours? What? <laughs> her, she had her feet in the water the whole time. Take a look at this. Oh. <laughs> Get it away. It is time now for an individual challenge. Now, we have been catching up on one of my favourite shows on TVNZ On Demand, Secrets of the Driving Test. So we thought it was time for a game of pass or fail. Now, contestants, I'm going to show you a clip of someone who is sitting there driving test. Your job is simple, to tell me whether they pass or they fail, starting with you, Vaughan Smith. <laughs> Vaughan, I want you to meet Drew, who seems to be having a bit of trouble with his spatial awareness. So I'd like you to drive forward into a bay, OK? And obviously, when you finish the exercise, try to be in the bay. Yep. Pretty sure that's not in the bay, love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vaughn. 
on. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> does he pass or does he fail? Well, dropping the clutch and stalling when you're going into... That's not a... I don't think that's a failable, but then what else did he do? It could be a sign of things he, to come. Yeah, exactly. he could it's just a be a terrible, flat. terrible driver. Pass or a fail? I feel this chappie's a failure. You think he's a failure? Yeah. A failure. <laughs> no, a failure. All right. But also a failure. Let's take a look. I didn't pass, guys. Oh. Hey! news for you. I'm going to give you 10 points for that answer. You are correct. All right, your turn, Justine Smith. Your driver is Callum, whose tongue seems to be doing a lot of the work for him. <laughs> the tongue's out. He means business. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Then... They're right. You can't see past all these cars, so you never know when they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We've had another stall, but this time on an open road. Uh, what do you reckon? Does he French kiss a pass or does he French kiss a fail? I think he's a bit, he's got a t shirt that says blessed, is he? Um, <laughs> I just feel the demeanour of the instructor was hateful. It was. Like, wasn't he, he, so I've been professional, but I'd like to punch this guy in the throat. <laughs> so he nearly hit a truck. He stalled an intersection. I'm going to go definite 100% fail. 100% fail. 100%. Let's take a look. Oh, he passed. Well done. <laughs> he passed. Oh, 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 that was a small thing, and he passed. So yeah. Yeah. no, sorry, that's not how the game works, Juzzy. Okay. Uh, good for him, but terrible for you. No points paid there. Okay. All right, your turn now, James Nikisa. James, here's Julie, who has her sights set straight ahead. Come on, Julie, you don't know me this stupid. Oh, oh. oh, that doesn't sound good. I'm not sure if you noticed, but we actually made contact with the wing mirror of the parked car. Oh, no, that. Yeah. Not good. <laughs> All right, does she drive straight into a pass or bump recklessly into a fail? Look, on the one hand, <laughs> she's clipped another car. On the other hand, I have no idea how to drive. <laughs> With all of my non-knowledge of driving, I reckon she's passed. Even though, <laughs> even though she hit another car? <laughs> all right, you think that she passes? Let's have a look. Hi, love. Sorry, I failed. Oh, <laughs> oh James, she failed. It's one car. She failed. Just well, one she, car. she hit the car in a driving test. It's not a person. It was an easy one. You let me down. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bracewell, you're up, uh, and I want you to say hello to Bradley, hello. who is ready to perform. <laughs> 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 I asked for that. <laughs> uh, Bradley is, of course, ready to perform, but can he drive? I ain't no side dish, side dish, side dish. I think singing's allowed. Garlic bread, onion ring, potato wedge. I ain't no side dish, side dish. Um, just goes a bit like that. It's more of a chat. Sounds good. But it sticks in your head, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, it will, yeah. I should really concentrate on the road, to be fair. <laughs> now, what do you reckon? Uh, does Bradley pass or does Bradley fail? That's what I imagine it was like um, for Olivia Rodrigo to get her driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't really do anything properly wrong. It's like not against the law to sing. Very, I mean, very distracting. Maybe in that quality, maybe. But um, <laughs> uh, I think he passes. You have faith in Bradley. You think he passes. Let's have a look. Hi. <laughs> Go on then. Tell us how did you do? Can I have a lift home, please, Mum? <laughs> he fails! Oh, he absolutely <laughs> fails. No points to you, Mel. All right, Reese. It is your turn. Are you ready? Your driver is the very confident Bethany. Sir, so, just park up behind my car, please. Oh! <laughs> You can't just drive up curbs. <laughs> what do you reckon about Bethany? Well, does she, she pass, does she fail? She's got curbs in all the wrong places. <laughs> um, 
That's good stuff. Yeah, it's bloody um, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think fail. Let's have a look. OK, Bethany, that's the end of the test. I'm really sorry to say you haven't passed. It is 10 points for you. You can watch Secrets of the Driving Test on TVNZ On Demand. We'll be back with our guest quiz master, Michaela Blyde. A <laughs> Around 5,000 people who have recently arrived in New Zealand are being told... It's not going to be warm. Oh, I knew that. That's part of the problem. Students have been encouraged to start thinking about... Behaving like a dictator. It's a bit like days of our lives or something. We've always thought of Christchurch as being... Absolutely crackers. That's just not correct. Police say they're assessing an email that was sent to... Animals, and what it says is a world first. And if you happen to be a gorilla... I was like donkey. This is a mess. Jeez. What the hell is that? attention it is time to bring out our guest quiz master she's the first female player to win back-to-back -back world rugby sevens player of the year please give it up for Michaela Blair yeah. welcome Hello. great to have you on the show Thank my you. god I copped a handful of your shoulders they are strong <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I go to the gym often so you do you really do I need some tips um, now look Twice you won uh, Sevens Player of the Year. How does that feel? Yeah, um, when you put it like that, a little bit bizarre. Yeah. Um, especially when you play a team sport. So being, I guess, individualised like that is humbling. But, I mean, my team are incredible people. Yeah. So and that's you're because just of them. a little bit better than them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> putting me on the spot. No, we're all equal. We all have our um, amazing Yeah, but strengths. one of you is the player of the year. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. It, it, it's, it must be a strange feeling. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, now, tell me, when did it all start for you to, to, get, to get into playing rugby? Uh, believe it or not, at the age of five. Both my mum and dad played rugby. Uh, mum actually played for the Black Ferns back in 1992. Shout out to mum. Yeah, shout wow. Mom. And uh, what's it like following in her footsteps? Yeah, it's been a dream of mine since I was young. I was that kid at primary school that would go up to the my friends and my teachers would be like, my mum played for the Blackbirds and I want to be just like her. So, yeah, I was one of those kids. Uh, now, you are hoping to go to the Olympics. Hoping. What's yes. the step that you have to take to get there? Um, we head off to Aussie very soon mm -hmm. to play against Aussie and Fiji. Oh, you'll be all right. Um, <laughs> what's the goal? What's the game plan? Oh, well, gold medal, of course. I mean, yeah? can't tell you a game plan. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, it's obviously uh, rugby is a, uh, a male-dominated sport. It's mm -hmm. seen as such. What is your advice to women wanting to get involved? Just to give it a crack, you know, and show those boys that we are just as fit, just as fast, just as strong. Um, and, you know, rugby for women in New Zealand is growing massively. In mm. fact, there's so many more people that are watching us play rather than the men. So, yeah. you know, express mm. yourselves because it's a full-time job for women here in New Zealand now. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I wish you the best of luck against Australia, but I Thank have you. to say I wish Australia a little bit of luck because they have to mm. face this. Have a look. <laughs> now, here, you're in the number six. Here you come. There you go! <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, that's absolutely incredible and shocking and amazing. Um, oh, yes, Reese. How often do you have to go to the gym? A couple times a week. How yeah, often do you go to the gym? I mean, I'm you out. tore your hamstring, so clearly not that <laughs> <laughs> Amazing to have you on the show. Are you ready to ask our contestants their sports questions? Absolutely, let's go. All right, we'll wrap up your ears and hope for the best. It's time now for sport. All righty. Whoever gets this right is my favourite comedian, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> The match schedule for next year's Rugby World Cup has been revealed. Who will the Black Ferns take on first? Reese. Due to a mix-up in scheduling, a men's team. <laughs> <laughs> and we would probably win, but... <laughs> probably <laughs> win. Not the answer, Mel, you buzzed in. Australia. That is correct. Well done, you're my favourite comedian. There you go. <laughs> Big call. 
Thanks, Tom. Jazzy's absolutely devastated there. <laughs> Take it away. Next question. The Highlanders had a change of plans. We knew when we started this competition that, um, that these were the challenges we'd face. What challenges is he talking about? Morning. Cauliflower ears. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Do women get them? Do women get them in the same um, way? I haven't seen one yet. You're you know, right. You've got my ears are still Oh, right. get cauliflower boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they had to move a game from Queenstown to Australia because of COVID. Ten points. Yeah, well done. This shocked sports fans. Tennis star Naomi Osaka has caused a major stir. How did she cause a stir? Hey, stir in the old pot there, Reese. Uh, she tried to play tennis with two rackets. <laughs> 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 that would be interesting, but not quite. Yeah, not quite the answer there. What was the stir that Naomi was causing, Mel? Uh, she doesn't want to talk to media. Actually, I'll give you that. Ten yeah. points there. She announced she won't do post-match media interviews due to a lack of positivity from media outlets. Mm, they are a bit, they're a bit mean, Damn media. Always the tennis. Like negativity. Do, do, do you find that after the game, that they're a bit poking yeah, the, yeah, the fire? Yeah, sometimes. Some, especially if you've lost, mm. and then they just want to show it in your face just mm. a little bit more. It's just like, really, man? Like, and do you have to do the whole, yeah, it was a game of two halves and a big shout-out to yeah, the girls? Yeah, and... shout-out. They played really well, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Kiwi golfer Amelia Garvey has big plans. Yeah, I couldn't dream of a better 21st than to... To do what, James? I think she's making her pro debut. That's right, yep, 10 points there. Making her pro debut, she starts the US Open this week, the day after turning 21. How unfortunate Far out. Mm. The day after turning 21, yeah. I was oh. wrapped around a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we all? Where are we all? <laughs> NBA star Joel Embiid went viral this week for celebrating on the court. How? How oh, did he celebrate, Juzzy? Did he hump a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, that is 100% correct. I'll take yeah. that. I don't know how men do it, but... No, that is... It's good. It's good form. It's good form. <laughs> <laughs> He was humping the air. Let's have a look. He lines up at the three. Wow. And being rolling down the floor. And the big fella will come. Why the little rhythm? Uh, wait, oh, Reese. Yeah, they're actually going to rename the team from the 76ers to the 69ers. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us and best of luck to the team Thank against you so much. Australia. All my si pati pati tele mo, Michaela Bring it on home with a round of Rapid Recall. All right, hands on buzzers, start that clock now. The very hungry caterpillar is back in the news, why? Mel. He's had a gastric bypass. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't done that, Bonnie. Oh, they had to return a whole lot of the books because they had holes in them. <laughs> I'm meant to be there, Jussie. Is it because very sadly the dad of the very hungry caterpillar, the author, has died? He has. He's Eric real Carl. old, though. Eric, 91 years old, and our condolences to his family. Akon had a nasty surprise while filling up his car at a petrol station this week. What happened? Jussie? Did he have to admit that he didn't know how to pull that little clicky thing on, <laughs> so you have to stand there and hold it? <laughs> Are you admitting that you don't know uh, how to click that little thingy on? OK, Jazzy. <laughs> Mel? Bloody $2.28 a litre. <laughs> <laughs> Not the surprise he got, Vaughan. Hey, while he was filling up, someone stole his car and it had, like, a Louis Vuitton bag and some expensive watch or something in it. A $34,000 diamond necklace in it and a $9,000 oh. Louis Vuitton bag as well as the car. Shame, they got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Celebrity chef Pete Evans has been fined $80,000 for doing what? Mel. Stealing Akon's car. <laughs> <laughs> Not what he did. Equally as stupid. Reese. Weeing in the ball pit at McDonald's. No, he didn't do that. Uh, James? He's promoting, like, miracle cures for, like, yeah. COVID-19. Untested is the important bit. Drugs and remedies as miracle cures for things, including COVID-19. The points are yours, James. Our longest-serving MP in Parliament, Nick Smith, has just announced what? Born? He's a, actually a troll. He's... 
Time to pay out! <laughs> uh, Over my bridge, will you, goat? Not the answer, Justine. Is it that he's mine and Vaughn's real dad? <laughs> <laughs> I certainly hope not, Reese. Is it I... that he knows where Muldoon buried his gold? Oh, God, I don't <laughs> think that's the answer either. Uh, it's nice and simple, Vaughn. He's retiring. He is oh. citing an employment issue. The Louvre Museum has just appointed its first ever what? Reese. Mr. Louvre Louvre. <laughs> <laughs> Female director? It has indeed. A new report has claimed Kim Jong un has banned North Koreans from wearing what? Reese. Just t shirts that say help? <laughs> <laughs> Not the answer I want. Mel. Skinny jeans. Skinny jeans because they represent a capitalistic lifestyle. Max Key shared this photo on Instagram to announce what? Justine. He's trying to be a better guy, guys. Yeah, he said that he's realised that the party boy dropkick image he portrayed wasn't an accurate representation of who he really was, so he did that by a topless photo on a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. California Governor hopeful Caitlyn Jenner has promised to cancel what if elected? Jazzy. Anyone who gets in the way of your car? <laughs> <laughs> She is uh, promising to cancel Mel. <laughs> She's cancelling cancel culture. Indeed, vowing to wake up the woke. Uh. Auckland real estate agent Ben Ryken made headlines this week for selling a house that came with a year of free what? <laughs> Jazzy. Even though everyone wanted Pornhub, actually what it is, is, is he, is like free avocados? Free, ooh. On toast? I'll pay that, Jazzy, free avocado on toast. Former US President Bill Clinton announced his second novel. What is it called? James. <laughs> actually, I did it. <laughs> it is not what it's called. Reese. Is it called? The wife who would never be president. <laughs> it is not that, Vaughan. No, it's called the president's daughter. Indeed, co-written with James Patterson. The points are yours. Boris Johnson secretly did what this weekend? Jazzy. A bag of coke and three hookers. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now. Not oh. what he did there, Mel. He secretly got married, but we're talking about it, so it wasn't secret. Not a, not a huge secret, indeed, to his girlfriend Carrie Simmons. The points are yours, Mel. Mike Tyson has claimed that his life was saved by what? James. Eating Evander Holyfield. No. <laughs> not, not eating that. Jazzy. Apparently, he's been microdosing on magic mushrooms and it helps him feel better. Yeah, it, 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 he says it aids in dealing with his depression. I feel like Mike Tyson on magic mushrooms is a terrifying Ooh, experience. I know. That is a very different magic Mike. It is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> you are not wrong there. Bad news for fans of Paddington. Ooh, that sound brings us to the end of the show. Let's check that final leaderboard. And our winner tonight is... Sportsman! Congratulations to our winner and thank you to everyone for playing tonight. We'll leave you with this reminder of the need to pay attention when working behind the camera. The weather roller coaster continues with single digit temps you know, and 60s yeah. on the way. Yes. Yes, it does. I, uh, I believe <laughs> that's it. That's 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 I was like, wait, wait what? <laughs> it is wild. <laughs> Next week, Ursula and Vaughn head up against Ray O'Leary, Paxasani, and Kuta Forrester is back. We'll see you then. <laughs>